At the beginning of July 2023, users of TikTok and YouTube posted videos promoting what they described as a transcript or log of the last text messages sent and received by Titan, the submersible operated by Ocean Gate Expeditions. Shortly after starting its descent to explore the Titanic wreckage on June 18 morning, the Titan lost contact with the Canadian research icebreaker Polar Prince. According to the US, there were five people on board when the sub reportedly imploded that morning, including Ocean Gate CEO Stockton Rush. The veracity of this purported transcript or log of the Titan sub's final text messages was unconfirmed due to a lack of evidence to back it up as well as due to the absence of reporting from reliable sources. But just how reliable is this so-called transcript? Is it really just a fake as everyone says? First off, as numerous news outlets have reported, the Titan sub did indeed have the capability to send and receive what Ocean Gate referred to as text messages. The communications technology allowed for underwater acoustic positioning, as well as for short text messages to be sent back and forth to the surface vessel, according to the reporting from Scientific American. However, the amount of data that can be shared is limited and typically includes basic telemetry and status information. Now let's find out what the transcript itself reveals. The series of messages in the transcript corresponded to what Ocean Gate stated on its website about the necessity of communication every 15 minutes. Likewise, the messages appeared to be consistent with what movie director James Cameron himself believed might have been going on in the submarine's final moments. A user left the following comment under one of the TikTok videos that promoted the unconfirmed transcript. So the passengers and Rush heard the hull failing with their own ears. James Cameron was correct, chilling. This user, who appeared to accept the transcript at face value, was making reference to an interview with Cameron, in which he discussed some details of a story that later also showed up in the claimed text messages. According to what we could ascertain, Cameron has since remained silent regarding the online circulating transcript. James Cameron, the director of the 1997 film Titanic, who won an Oscar for his work, has a long history of making deep-sea submersible dives, some of which have gone much deeper than Titanic. On June 2022, Cameron said, this Ocean Gate sub had sensors on the inside of the hull to give them a warning when it was starting to crack. They probably had a warning that their hull was beginning to delaminate and crack because, as Bob Ballard pointed out, we understand from inside the community that they had dropped their ascent weights and were coming up, trying to manage the emergency. The transcript was later analyzed by engineer Jeff Ostros. According to him, the communications show that the Titan sub was descending at a much too rapid rate based on the depth and speed recorded during the descent. According to the calculations, they would have reached the Titanic wreck about an hour earlier than anticipated. The submersible was supposed to be descending at a safe rate of 25.33 meters per minute, according to engineer Jeff Ostroff. The transcript indicates that they were 756 meters below the surface when they should have only been 532 meters when the ride started at 21 minutes. Mathematically, the sub should have only been at 1,292 meters. 51 minutes into the descent when the sub recorded a depth of 1,934 meters. The Titan should have only been at a depth of 1,950 meters at this time rather than the 2,960 meters that was according to the communications, which indicated that everything was fine on board and that they were 77 minutes into the dive. The math indicates that the sub has been descending far too quickly. According to the leaked transcript, the Titan's first indication of trouble came from a message sent at 9.28 a.m. that said, we're noting an alarm from the RTM. Real-time monitoring system. At that point, it was decided to lower the sub's velocity so it wouldn't keep descending so quickly. The Titan crew was reportedly 88 minutes into the dive at that point, and even though they should have been at 2, 229 meters at that speed, 25.33 meters per minute, they were actually much lower at 3,433 meters indicated by the transcript. At that time, they would have been just 400 meters from the Titanic wreck that was 3,800 meters underwater and an hour early. 
Any structural problems with the ship were supposed to be reported to the crew by the RTM. The crew was unable to pinpoint the exact source of the crackling sounds, which were coming from the pointed end of the sub, but the RTM was reported to be lit up all red according to the transcript. The smaller, pointed end of the sub, which was enclosed by a wall on the inside, appeared to be the source of the crackling noise. The Titan crew had made an effort to stop the descent, and according to reports, the ship was only ascending slowly 60 feet in 3 minutes and the power system was failing. The Titan's final message, which stated, reading read on the R power bus, I switched to be at 3,457 meters more sounds aft was sent at 9 hours 46 minutes 37 seconds. The crew had stopped using punctuation at this point, and the communications were written in a disorganized manner, suggesting that they were probably in a panic. The Polar Prince tried to contact the sub again after the Titan's final message was transmitted, but he was unsuccessful. Where exactly did the transcript originate from? The users of TikTok and YouTube who posted the alleged transcript appeared to do so with a disclaimer that they weren't sure of its veracity. A TikTok user posted a video of the messages on an unidentified date in late June and stated at the beginning of the clip that they were unconfirmed. The video has since received more than 360,000 views. A video titled Messages Between Titan Sub and Crew on Top, Horrific Tale, What Actually Happened on That Morning was uploaded on July 1 by the creator or creators of the GS Academy Pakistan YouTube channel. The video, which has amassed more than 125,000 views, includes a description that identifies its source as a Unilad.com article. That article, however, was not accessible, indicating that it had either been deleted or had never existed in the first place. Another TikTok user published a video of the messages on July 2 without mentioning that the transcript had not yet been verified. There were over 3.6 million views of that video. The transcript was also published on July 5 by the verified YouTube channel Jefferstroff, who cited several TikTokers and also an educational Pakistani YouTube channel, most likely referring to GS Academy Pakistan. The disclaimer at the beginning of the video, which had received to point to million views as of this time, stated that they were unable to verify the veracity of the transcript. Regarding the alleged transcript itself, the earliest pastebin.com posting we could find was from June 29. It's possible that all of the aforementioned TikTok and YouTube videos predate this posting. These dubious videos with unclear sources and citations further fuel doubt about the authenticity of the matter itself. After all, if the information was real then it shouldn't have come out of thin air. It can also be a leak from the company, OceanGate, but they have not released any information for the time being. Did this catch your interest? Please subscribe to Weather Collapse if you want to know more and be updated on the latest news about natural calamities or disasters happening all over the world, and don't forget to like today's video. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.